Hey everyone and welcome to this week's little tutorial. So this week I will be showing you how to, I wouldn't say quickly, but I would say easily colour grade your images. This is a technique that I pretty much use on all my images. Um, I started using this technique a few years, well, actually quite near the beginning of when I started using Photoshop and it's just stuck with me ever since. So obviously when you're creating composites you colour match the elements but then you want to put a final colour grade over the whole image to unify the elements and then when you're not shooting a composite on studio portraits like this this technique also you can get some nice cinematic colour grading so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it on this image here uh, so for the purposes of this tutorial I did get rid of the modifier um, this was shot in a friend's house so there wasn't much room so I just uh, use the lasso tool and the clone stamps to get the pattern into the background here from here and then just use, use the curves just to pull it down but as I said this is not the aim of the tutorial so it does look very rough there but I just kind of wanted to get rid of the big white modifier sticking out so I can show you the colour grading so what you want to do is go up to gradient map and this is what I use to colour grade my images. Now for some reason this gradient map always comes up with either black and white or some random colours or it'll just go completely dark. Um, so what you want to do is just double click on the gradient here and click black to white in the presets here and now your image will be black and white. So the gradient map is mostly used for converting images to black and white. It, you can get some really good black and whites because uh, you've got more control of the, the tonal points and the uh, gradients in the image. But what we are going to do is we're going to use it for colour. So again, let's. Uh, so this is the gradient we will be working on here. So as you can see, you've got the left hand side which is the darks and the right hand side which is the lights and all the colour, all the gradient in between which is all the different kind of uh, obviously mid tones over here and then you've got in between the mid tones to your highlights and then you've got from your shadows to your mid tones. So what we want to do is if you click in this little box here, you double click sorry, the colour picker will come up. So for this image I'm going to go with adding some browns in. Uh, to give it kind of that classic feel because it's a western image and then I will be adding colours into the shadows. So, as well it's always good to think about the colours you want to use in the image before you actually do it. Uh, so like for me, like I just explained, this is kind of an older Wild West looking image so I'm going to go for some browns. Uh, and because we're choosing the colour for the darks, we want to go for a, a very dark kind of brown, which is, you probably can't see it there, but it's just kind of dark brown. So there we go, press OK. And then we want to create some mid-tone colour as well. So, if you click underneath this gradient, another point will appear. And you can do that as many times as you want to put as many colours in, but we'll just be doing it for the mid-tone. So let's just move it more into the middle, double click in this little box, and now we can choose our mid-tone colours. Uh, so for mid-tone, I'm going to bring it somewhere up here, somewhere in the middle, but then you can either go saturate mid-tone, or you can go desaturate mid-tone. I'm going to go somewhere around here. Maybe just a little bit more colouring, and click OK. Now for the highlights, I tend to leave my highlights white. I just prefer it like that. That's how I've always done it, but feel free if you want to add colours in there, you are more than welcome to. But for the purposes of this tutorial, it's my preferences. So, ha! <laughs> uh, so let's press OK. So now you have this beautiful image smothered in brown, which we do not want. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there's something going on outside. It sounds like uh, the army is smashing through the building. So apologies for that. And the reason for that is is because the winds are open because it is summer here in England and it is like a sauna in this room. <laughs> so I have to I had to put the windows open. Anyway, I digress. So we've got this lovely image coloured in a brown colour. 
So what we want to do now is we want to refine that. So we are going to pull the opacity all the way back down to zero. And then we are going to pull it up to usually, it, usually for me it's between 20 to 30 percent. So somewhere, somewhere like, somewhere like here. So that's, I'm going to look it over to so I'll take two. And that's the first part of our um, colour grading. As you can see, I'm just clicking it off and on. That's without, that's with. So we've kind of got this cool brown uh, in the tones now. So the next part of my colour grading is selective colour. And again, this is something I have always used with the gradient map to colour grade my images. The reason for this is because I like to put colour into my shadows. Uh, and the reason for that is because the old painters, when they were painting the blacks into their, or the darks into their paintings, they wouldn't just use a jet black. They would be mixing colours together and creating darks out of various other colours. So you, was all, you, was all, you would always get a hint of colour in the blacks. Uh, so if you do go to an art gallery, just go and look at the paintings and have a look at the blacks and you'll notice. But uh, I like to do this because it just gives the image a more of a painterly feel, obviously, because the paint is used to use it. So I'm just taking a technique what is used in art or painting and just applying that into my photography. And it works well with dodge and burn. If you're trying to create those really painterly dodge and burn images, adding some colour into these shadows always adds that extra layer of the painterly feeling. So let's go and click up here in the adjustments where the selective colour is and what we want to do when the properties box comes up is switch to black and now we're only going to be adding colour into the blacks so it's not going to affect any other area so what we want to do is for this image I kind of when I was colour grading in the beginning I came up with a little formula which was added when I wanted to kind of get a cinematic colour grade which was adding some browns in a gradient map and then adding blues into the shadows and I've got this really cinematic feel so I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna use that today uh, just to show you but uh, and I, I always like to like nowadays when I'm doing it I like to add red into the shadows but for this image it doesn't work so I'm just gonna add some uh, blue in so as you can see you're probably thinking it says yellow so how are you adding blue in well this uh, the selective color uses CMYK cyan magenta yellow and black uh, but the opposite of CMY is RGB so if you pull your yellow slider to the left you are actually putting blue into the image so let's just move that in a little bit we don't want too much in somewhere around seven let's have a look and if it takes away too much of the blue, uh, uh, sorry, the brown of the gradient map, we can also we can always adjust the gradient map and add some more browns in because we are working non-destructively. So let's just add a little bit more brown into the gradient map. Somewhere like here. There we go. And there you go. Very simple. Adding some colour into the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double uh, select both, right click group from layers and name this group final grade or you can you can name it whatever you want but we'll just call it final grade and then I will just click that off and on so as you can see we've gone from that which I mean is it looks quite nice it's very, but it's very blue uh, and we've gone to this kind of cinematic western uh, color grading here so as you can see a very easy way to color grade your images and also a good way to get the painterly feeling in your images with, by putting colour into the shadows. So that's it for today, short and sweet. I hope you found it easy to follow along. I hope you get to use the technique in your own images. Feel free to show me any images that you uh, create using this technique. I'd love to have a look. And thanks guys, I'll speak to you all later. Peace! <coughs>